Welcome to Markets on Air, with a focus on innovation made in Germany. Growth market, robots ensuring safety. The flux crawler was developed by German and French researchers. Rotating around a steel pole, the robot scans the surface for defects. Together with an industry partner, the engineers want to further develop this prototype for mass production. Cable manufacturers have expressed interest. Cable inspection is an international market. And we're not just talking about bridge construction. We can test all buildings and structures that contain cables. So I think we're dealing with a relatively large market. Bridges are part of the infrastructure, an important field of work for the researchers. They've developed special sensors for their testing. This unit was built for the German rail service to detect cracks in train wheels. Around 100 inspection systems like this are already in operation, one of them in the Eurotunnel that connects Britain with France. This robot is able to examine a material that is normally difficult to inspect, concrete. Orders keep coming in because of the robot's ability to quickly and easily determine the condition of buildings. Sensory testing is a growing market as infrastructure continues to age in countries around the world. Easy access, factory of the future designed in Germany. There are no permanent workplaces here, even the shelves are portable. At the Wittenstein company, the sales development and logistics departments work closely together in order to get new products onto the market as quickly as possible. Company boss Dieter Spart had the new building designed to optimize communication. Short distances are key. The production hall is barely 30 steps away from the developers. We bring together feedback from the customers, ideas from the developers, and what's necessary for production. For that to function, you need a more communicative working environment. And this entire building is designed to encourage face-to-face -face encounters, allow good visibility of others, and to provide transparency and bring people together. The close communication is aimed at spurring innovation, and that's what makes the mid-sized company more competitive on the global market. But to stay ahead of its rivals, Wittenstein has to speed up the development of its products. Customers expect shorter development times. Where we used to have a year to bring a new product onto the market and serve our customers, now the expectations are much higher, more like half a year. So we now have half the time to deliver the same results. Wittenstein invested 35 million euros in the factory, and the new concept appears to be working. Management says new models are already being developed one month earlier than before. Germany scores high on innovation. The German economy remains a leader when it comes to innovation. In a comparison of 35 industrial nations, Germany held on to sixth place in 2014. The study, carried out by the Federation of German Industries, focused on comparing the world's top three economic regions. North America, Asia, and Europe. The study found that more than half of the most innovative countries are European. Volkswagen, a research leader. No other private company in the world spends more on research and development than German car maker Volkswagen. In 2013, the company invested 10.9 billion euros in R&D. That puts VW ahead of South Korean multinational Samsung as well as U.S. tech giants Microsoft and Intel. €344 billion. Euros. That's how much companies specializing in environmental technology generated in sales last year. The German Environment Ministry expects that figure to double over the next 10 years. In 2013, green tech products made in Germany already held a global market share of 14%. Smart production, keeping ahead with Industry 4.0. These isolation amplifiers come in 100 different varieties, and workers can spot any irregularities in the production of these highly specialized electronic components by watching the screen. 
This part contains a chip that stores all the module's data, sharing it with the workers and with the production line itself. That way the machines know which procedures to carry out on each electronic component. Andreas Schreiber is helping to implement Industry 4.0 at electrical engineering company Phoenix Contact. The factory's central control system will eventually be replaced by individual machines that run themselves and each other. It's like an intersection where the traffic lights turn green in various directions. But you never know how many cars will come each minute from which direction. So a roundabout might be better. There are basic rules within certain parameters, and it runs itself. The mid-sized firm in North Rhine-Westphalia posts annual sales of around 1.6 billion euros. It has made Industry 4.0 a top priority. That was Markets on Air, with a focus on innovation made in Germany.